The dudes. Response quickly. Who brought that up? Group number two. Yeah, you better be on top of it. And Toyota was a great example of that. You've got to have an immediate response. And all the big brands now, they are monitoring social media 24-7. They have someone on that all the time, responding to tweets, responding to stuff that comes up. Do have a personality, please. <laughs> so, you know, uh, social media is about the human connection. It's about the human element. element. And you really are thinking sort of part cocktail party hostess and part maitre d' at a fine restaurant and part best friend and confidant. So you really want to um, be a person. And all the brands that are doing social media well, the, the, the people that they have in charge of that are shining their own personality through and not just trying to be this official corporation. Do ignore the trolls. So you're always, that's what they call in social media speak is the name for those always a few people who just will endlessly complain and endlessly post negative stuff. Just ignore them. Don't worry about them. Next. Offer valuable information. So, um, you know, the smart brands kind of take uh, and release the coming news of like, you know, a press release that's going to come out about a new product that's launching and they'll leak that information to their key influencers, their key bloggers, their key tweeters. So they're paying those people back for promoting the brand by giving them something in return. We're going to give you the advanced information because they know that if I tweet this leak about, you know, iPad upgrade coming out next week from Apple, for example, then that's going to give me a boost in my followers. That's going to give me a boost in my trust fund. So then I'm going to promote the brand even more. And then the final thing, think like a Vegas casino. So, <laughs> fun, games, contests, rewards for loyal fans, all of those things do really well on social media. And that's it, actually, because now we're going to Q&A. So we'll have our first question. So, is it a don't? If, so I have a Twitter account that I follow some companies that I really like. Yes. I post, you know, promote some certain items and I get the latest you know, promotion and I really like it. But then um, lately I found that some other companies, some random companies, will um, find that I follow these their competitors right. and they add me as a follow, like they will follow me, hoping that I will follow them back. Right. Is that a don't? Because I felt like I, I felt pretty... Like, are you like stalking me? You know, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that way, or is that pretty common? Well, how do you guys feel about it? I mean, I think everyone is figuring out the rules of engagement right now. I would say the thing is, they can't, they can't force you to follow that. So they're following you, but they can't make you follow that. But I feel like that's wrong because I don't, like, I don't know, I didn't choose to follow you, but then now you're following me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it I feels like a violation of exactly. your... I mean, you can't stop them from stalking her on Twitter, basically, right? Yeah, because you're on Twitter, so you're kind of opening yourself up to having people yeah. say, ooh, I want to follow your activity, and especially from the competitor's point of view, they're probably trying to figure out exactly what their competitors are doing to see how they can kind of up their ante. Yeah, and, and in a hope sometime that you turn and join them as, as a fan or follower, but... Uh, I think it's to keep an eye on what their competitors are doing and what their fans or followers are saying about them. So how do you feel? Like do you do you feel like I do feel like a little bit like you're being stopped? Yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like how people follow us mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so like how people follow you, but if you want to be very private, you do have those uh, sort of people that you want to be very you do, yeah. You actually do have privacy controls. There's a lot of privacy controls on Twitter and Facebook. Should companies do that? I mean, it's like a great way to find like your, I mean, your segment of customers, right? Because right. If, if my competitor is selling the same product that I am, yeah. and these people follow like them, yep. then it's like an easy way for me to find my segment. Exactly. So should companies do it? I would not call it a don't because they're not forcing you to follow them. They're just following it. So I would say that's not it. I would say that's a do. So it's basically how paranoid you are about people yeah. following you. 